Right now, let's talk about the two surfers in the water. Tyler Wright, the number one on the Jeep leaderboard, up against Sage Erickson. Sage Erickson having quite an event, though. Let's watch Women's Pro at Tracels. Back in the quarterfinals, and here she is on a nice, clean wall. First turn, carrying that speed through that maneuver, sets up the next one, snapping it, that time getting a little bit more direct out of it. Again, fading the next bottom turn, and connects with that last section and jumps off. So great start here for Ty, uh, Sage Erickson yesterday because yep. you need to kind of draw off of those uh, comfort well, areas that you surf at at home. Let's just see. I would have liked to seen Sage get a bit more vertical attack on this wave. I think it had the potential had she dropped, uh, drawn a bit more of a critical bottom turn and really got under that lip and hooked it up. You know what? I really care. I want to win a world title. That's what I'm here for and here she is. Looking at this right, you saw Glenn Hall kind of pointing out this direction. You know, Tyler's strength would be her forehand, but nothing going there. So first wave exchange going to Sage Erickson. Live action, Tyler Wright. Nice loose snap off the top here. This wave difficult to ride with a bunch of foam on it, but it's got some open face as she works to get there. So we have that in one first snap, and there connects with the lip. Not as clean as you would have liked for that final move. Generally, that kind of gives you a vibe as you watch the replay here. Yeah, that first turn, just nothing through that lip. This is the foam that I'm talking about that she has to contend with. We know that that wave is going to get flat through this midsection. She's still on the hunt for that last maneuver. Gets the board up there. Tyler Wright's in the quarterfinals. She is. She is going to make a move. Good looking wave here. She starts off. Clean roundhouse cutback, rebounds off the whitewater. Again, super smooth in the transitions. This wave starts to steepen up on this inside shore break. Gaffs it with a layback snap and gets there too late for the finish. Ooh. So just the one turn, a dynamic turn though. I was dancing around this booth. I mean, just watching that wave from Tyler Wright, we've been anticipating her answer back. Tyler Wright going to the strength of her forehand. These are those carving maneuvers that she's so well known for. You see the fins being exposed, even on that bottom turn, another carve. This turn right here was that power gaff, just laying into then unfortunately just a little bit too late for that end section. Saw the bobble. Let's just have another look at Sage's 6.5. So beautiful canvas for Sage Erickson, such a beautiful style. Doesn't quite get that critical crack in the lip. Still throws a lot of spray, has great fluidity on that wave. Different it's style beautiful. of the wave. And, and, and then Tyler Wright, a smaller wave. You see that wraparound cutback that she's just getting set up to stay in the critical section. Another slower turn there. So this is very interesting of where that is the turn right there that's really going to gain those points and hopefully when you sit for that long get a little bit stiff and cold. Well, here you go, without priority, taking off on another right-hander, trying to get rid of the low score of a 4.83. As this little ripple. Remember, we've got the tide kind of shifting, too. So, you know, maybe this portion of the beach, as she gets up and over, but can't hang on. So a bit of a mistake here. Yep. Paddling into position is Sage Erickson. So here we go. See if she can do it. Take back the lead. She's going to go on the left here on the backhand. First turn. Keeps it smooth. Second maneuver here, a little bit more critical, holds on and mm. jumps off. So is that a 5.67, Rosie? Wow, so Sage Erickson and Alexa go on her backhand. I like the way that she redirects to get that crisp section over there. She drops down again. That was the strongest turn on that wave. I think it's going to be um, Sage's 6.5 to just compare. You know, just see where it's going to fall in that realm. A lot of spray there. There you go, another turn, and this is the... Much better wave, that yeah, wave there. the better turn. That was the, the last turn was the best turn. It will Let's check it out. Let's just watch this replay. This is the one, this is Sage looking for that 5.67. Is this going to be the one that gets her into the semi-finals? Wow, so two turns. 5.1. Uh-oh, oh, here we go. Well, let's see it. Nice clean wall here. Can she get around it? This is Sage Erickson too deep and Ooh. takes it. Now needing to get through her next heat. Courtney Conlog, there is the official results. It is over.